of the common questions we get on Backyard Farmer every year is what to do with tree roots. They get big, they get in the way, how do we deal with it? Do we plant around it? Do we mulch around it? Uh, so I thought I'd start off a little bit about the biology of our of roots on trees, what, what happens here. So think of roots kind of like we do our branches and leaves. So there's non-woody roots and there's woody roots. And the non-woody roots, like our leaves, absorb nutrients and air and water. Uh, and then our woody roots provide structure, much like branches do. And over time, uh, because the majority of the roots of a tree are in the top 18, 12 to 18 inches uh, of the surface, so as time goes, they increase in size. And as they increase in size, they start to become more and more evident. And they kind of start erupting through the ground and that's when we start having problems. So it's important to remember that just like we would with the trunk and the branches that we can damage those roots and then it shortens the life of the tree. It puts stress and strain on the tree. And so we want to try to eliminate as much of that as possible. And a few things we can do to, to help uh, deal with that situation. One of them is to over time increase our mulching around the tree. Adding two to three inches of mulch annually will help protect the roots and then also prevent you from having to work around the base of the tree. Uh, then we can start looking at if you want to do some planting around that, look at around the drip line area of the tree to do some of that planting uh, and that will help uh, deal with the situation as far as managing that but also help protect the tree as well. So when we're dealing with roots, we can do some pruning on roots. Uh, I suggest you contact a professional, a certified arborist here in the state to take a look at that. But we want to make sure that we're not doing any particular damage to the roots over time. Uh, herbicides, so many times we'll think we want to use some sort of herbicide or weed killer around trees. Uh, the chemistry of our herbicides today are, are pretty good. And just like spraying the trunk uh, or the leaves of a tree that you would do damage, uh, spraying the base of the tree, spraying around the root system could also potentially do damage. So if we have to do some vegetation clearing around there to, to open up the space, you know, we're gonna wanna use that, use our hands, use some tools to help clean that up a little bit or just using the mulch to help suppress that, the grass or whatever you have growing underneath there uh, to help get rid of that, that area. So going forward, you know, a couple things to think about. We want to make sure that we're not um, working around tree roots, we're not digging in there, we're not using our mower uh, and doing damage to the tree roots. Uh, think about making sure we expand our mulch bed wide enough so that way we're protecting the tree area, that, that root system. And keep in mind that the root system can be very expansive, so beyond the drip line of the tree many times. So. Uh, when working around trees, keep in mind that you may be interfering with that and in turn looking at shortening the life of the tree.